Hey everybody, welcome back to Piedra Designs. Uh, what I've got mounted up in the truck this week is a piece of cherry limb. Uh, this is a dried limb. Uh, it's been cut down uh, over a year that I know of. Uh, we're looking at about seven and a half inches long-ish. Uh, somewhere, it's somewhere around three and a half, three and three quarters diameter. Uh, I've got two of them actually. And so I thought maybe try to turn up a pair of candle holders or something maybe. So I'm going to start off, get this rough down, uh, put a tendon on the end of it, and then take this one out, put the other one in, do the same thing, get a tendon turned on both of these um, before I mount them in the chuck. Okay, think that'll work for now. We'll go ahead and get this mounted up in the chuck.
I'm going to go ahead and leave tail stock support uh, for right now while I try and make some sort of shape out of this. Before I go much further, I'm going to drill a little hole out for the candle, <clears throat> where the candle would sit. I don't have any other bits right now other than these uh, these spade bits. Um, going to make this a 13 16 hole. I'm not real familiar with candles. I think generally they you can get some in like a 3 quarter inch size. Uh, but again, I'm not familiar with them, so I don't know, um, and I don't know how accurate, uh, those sizes are, so just pulling some random number, I'm going to go with a 13 16 and, uh, that should leave a little room if a three quarter inch candle's a little bit bigger than that. Okay, so I went and got a candle from Tessa, and this candle actually is a little bit bigger even than the 13 16 so I don't know, did I drill it out to uh, 1 inch or 7 eighths? Yeah, I think we'll drill it out to 7 eighths. Yeah, that seems to fit a little better. We'll go with that. Okay. Now I'm going to clean up this end a little bit. Um, the last little candlestick I'd made, my sister uh, had a, a suggestion that on the top end of it, it needed to slope inward so that it would catch wax better. Again, like I said, I don't know anything about candles. So I'm going to bevel this top end inward a little bit. Still need to clean up this face a little bit. Not quite square across the top.
I don't know. What do y'all think? Think we can call that? Let's go to some sanding on that one. I think so. Like I said, I don't know anything about candles. And we're just out here having fun. Let's go to some sanding. clean that up a little bit get the dust off of it and be ready for some finish all right just a little denatured alcohol here get some of this dust off of here my fancy lathe protection here i i think with this one i'm just gonna do do my typical thing here I'm put a couple of coats of uh, shellac on here followed by the axe wood paste uh, axe polish and restoring paste and I'll put about two coats of this on and between coats I will denib it with the four aught steel wool. I won't make you watch the second coat of this. It'll go on exactly like this coat's going on. We'll come back when it's time for the finish. Okay, now it's time. We got the two coats on there. Time for our axe polish and restoring paste. Thank you. Buff that off with a towel and then burnish it in with uh, some steel wool. That's just beautiful. And now we'll, we'll We'll get that parted off. There it is. First one down, second one to go. All right, so we got the second piece mounted up now. Uh, now the fun begins. We've got to actually try to copy the second one, match the first one. I'm gonna start off cleaning up this face and then uh, get the whole board in it.
think that's probably about as good as I'm going to get. Get my part off started here before I start the sanding. Not sure at this moment where I lost you guys thought I had the camera on but when I went to stop it it wasn't all anyways we're sanded up through 400 uh, got it cleaned off with some denatured alcohol I'm just going to go through the same process with this one uh, two coats of shellac with some denibbing with the 4 out steel wool in between the coats and then a final coat with the axe polish and restoring paste i won't make you guys watch all of that again on this project uh we'll just see you after i have both of these uh signed up and finished all right, so after I got this uh, parted off, got the bottom all sanded up, was ready to to sign them and get the bottom finished, I had them setting up beside each other, and I discovered, I don't know how I missed it, maybe you guys didn't, this one is still way fatter than this one right through here. I don't know how I missed that, but I did. So now I've got it mounted back up um, since I don't have the tenon on here anymore. And the jaws I have for the chuck jump from two inch to four inch. So I don't, I can't, I can't mount this in the chuck. So I've got it mounted up with the step center and then I've got the the live center with some uh, just some uh, non-slip counter mat or cabinet mats uh, in there to protect that. Uh, it does appear to be spinning pretty true, so I'm going to try to take that down and match up the other one. I do have my calipers set again now, and I've double-checked them. So maybe we'll get this right this time. Got that sized up better now. Gonna get that re-sanded and finished up and bring you guys back once they're finished now. Alright guys, so we got them all done. Here we have two cherry candle holders. Um, they are not exact copies of each other. There's a few minor minor things uh the v grooves are not at the same level and i've got some little bit of different angles here on the top and down here on the on the bottom um uh, got them all signed up But overall, I think I did pretty good getting them matched up. So I'll leave some pictures at the end. I try to get a little bit of close up so you guys can see just how much they're not exact copies. But I was turning two pieces instead of just one. So there's that. So if you like what you saw, please be sure and remember to comment, like, hit that thumbs up button. 
Drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.